today I'm going to show you our access control software for our DX access control boards. Uh, this access control software can be downloaded from our site under uh, downloads. If you go to, uh, to the download section, you will find the DX access control resources and downloads. Uh, these two softwares are a key for you to find the uh, board once it's connected to your network and this is the software and manual. I already installed the software and it is very simple. Uh, the username and password is ABC. Password is 123. All of that can be changed, of course. And this is the main interface. Uh, very clean, very easy to use. Uh, you can go to controllers uh, and search for controllers on your network. And if there's any, anything connected on the network, you will be able to find it. You will find a serial number and you can add that to uh, the system by just clicking Add Found to System. And it's already registered with the software. From here, you can configure it if you need to. Um, another uh, feature that this software supports is you can create, you can build your database uh, for your access control right here on this software. Uh, although the board has web service enabled, I will recommend you to use this software, first of all, because it offers more features and everything that you need to do in, in terms of registering cards and adding personnel and adding departments can be done right here. You can add departments by just clicking at the top and you can uh, name your departments. Very simple. From here, you can add personnel. Um, you have an option to use a card register that you connect uh, via USB or you can register a user using a door reader. In this case, um, you can click on auto add and then we're going to use a USB reader and you can simply scan the card just like so and there you go. Then uh, obviously you need to set, set up your default departments or your departments for this particular users. Then you have everything registered on the software and then you will push that information to the board. Um, another thing you can do here is a basic access control. Uh, for example, you can manage your access privilege per user. So you can have different departments and different users and this represents the doors on this particular board. I'm connected to a four door uh, DX model and then uh, you basically create your users and then you allow or prohibit access to those particular doors. It's very simple. Um, I'm going to make a video with more detail of how to configure this but this is just a basic introduction of how the software looks like and uh, you know the things that you can set up on him. Basic operate, this is basically connecting to the board itself. You can select all the doors, you can monitor the board directly if there's any operation, if any uh, person try to open a door you can see it right there live. Right now this particular board doesn't have anything connected but just the fact that you can view all of that, you, it's very important if you try to monitor who gets in and who goes out. You can adjust the time if you need to you can, uh, once you configure all of these settings here in this software, you can upload that to the board and you will need to, otherwise the board will not know what you have created on the database. Another thing you can do is just create a, get a real-time swipe records. So you can see there the, the board is just listening to see who is utilizing the access control readers or who is getting into the building and so on. It's very easy, very nice features. You can unveil more features by just going here under Tools and Extended Functions. It's going to ask you for a passcode. Passcode is 5678. Then you can enable other functions of uh, the software right here by just clicking them. It's up to you what options you want to put in there. I will be making more videos of some of the features that this software offers. And lastly, you can see attendance report. If a person came here certain days and what days did it, you know, make it to work, you, all, you can see all of that in here. You can also configure your shift hours. There's many things that you can configure in this software and this is it. I mean, it's very easy, very clean setup and I will be making more videos of how to configure the software and more in-depth features that this software provides.